Okay, when I look at this, I could start by distributing the five, or I could just divide the five away. And then I get x minus eight is equal to three. And I end up with x is equal to 11. <coughs> With this one, yes, there's a fraction, but I'm going to take care of that two first because the fraction is um, with the variable. I'm going to multiply, oops, I didn't put equals five. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal. For the final one here, <clears throat> I see a denominator of 4, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I end up with x minus 5 is equal to 40. x equals 45. In the survey, there were a couple of you who asked how to do number 2. If I have consecutive numbers, that means that they're in a row. So 4, 5, and 6 are consecutive numbers. I'm going to start with x as my first number. x plus 1 would be my second number because it's one more. And x plus 2 would be my third number because 1, 2, 3. This is 2 more than this one. These all equal 63. So I'm going to rewrite this as with combined like terms as 3x plus 3 equals 63. I subtract 3 and I get 3x equals 60 which means x is equal to 20. But the question asks which of these is the largest number, and the largest number is x plus 2, so 22 is my answer. The three numbers would be 20, 21, and 22. So for this one, I'm thinking of a number x. After I multiply by 3, and subtract 5 and divide by 11, it equals 5. I'm going to start off after setting this up with multiplying by the 11 to get rid of the denominator. And I get 3x minus 5 equals 55. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. 3x is equal to 60, which is equal to 20.